in your future you will have the basic foundation, the synaptic core, or knowledge that you won't find in books. It doesn't require you to have a PhD, MD, whatever these titles are to be anything. The future holds the requirement of data that you spit or plot out and um, the application of such. Data that remains in theory or hypothesis remains just that. Nothing happens until it happens. It doesn't require you to believe to say, I see what I see when I see it. But let me break down why I was inspired to make that video. I watched uh, Nassim Haramain, hopefully I'm pronouncing that correct, for quite some time. And um, Richard C. Hoagland. There are some of the money that is just it's ridiculous. I don't even know if they communicate amongst each other because Nassim says that uh, whatever he finds and his theory that um, the sun is a black hole it's at 19.47 Richard C. Hoagland says it's at 19.5 let's make that 19.5 and I use what I call intuitive and fuzzy logic, that is, find parallels, things that make sense. So I do what I do, call me the crazy man or the renaissance man, but uh, first off, 1 plus 9 is 10, plus 5 is 15, since it's not a double as in 1, 1, or 2, 2, which you leave alone because these are master numbers, you have to single out the digit. So as I single out the digit, it becomes a 6. What is the 6 representative for? First off, your recarbic field. Once it's in the correct bin, it's hexagonal. Uh, the better weather patterns around the poles on planets are what? Hexagonal. What does that mean? These are holographic access points for wormholes. And each planet has one. Every planet is a gateway. So, I am totally confirming to when I talk to my Arcturian brothers and sisters and to the Esasani that the sun flares are cyclical in nature. They get spit out on one end and sucked in on the other end. If you watch certain recordings and you zoom in, you see one is outward and one is in reverse. If you take the sun for a spin, such as Nassim did with the uh, recording of the sun activity, you see a uh, spot up there, and you take you draw a line through, through, through the, the sun, and on the other side is another spot. And all of the spots, when they occur, are connected. Then you have different recordings. I'm just throwing it out there to leave yourself open for a possibility of a true moment in time. The actual time, that is. The real reality. So every time a spot appears, you have that in reverse. Meaning, there's something going on. So at times you see lights. Just saying lights. Call it what you will. Traveling in to these vortexes. Sunbursts. There's a reaction. Hydrogen is being released. Which some of you want to debate that or you don't know of. There's a database that I have access to with my cerebral cortex that says hydrogen is being 
moved. So one thing is, if you understand, is that sun, the sun is not only a black hole, the sun is a planet. Map that out with a trip that I had seven years ago. I was completely lucid. I, the human part of me thought that I lost my mind and then the extraterrestrial part of me came in and activated and calmed me down and began to integrate. You know, when you at that state in your brain hemisphere synchronize and you at 40 hertz, you see that the sun is a planet. The sun is a planet where ascended beings live. If, if you vibrationally match the sun, you will find a planet looking just like Earth. Since our vibrational match is so different that we are on such a low bandwidth, the sun is so bright that you can't even look in because it oscillates on that frequency. Let's keep it simple. Now back to Earth. A volcano just three-dimensionally observed is what? An opening to the inner works of the Earth. Check the uh, geometries of the vault lines. Check the geometries of ancient places. And then you find out that certain volcanoes are placed where? 19.5. Now, why is that? Because, let me break it down. No one has ever broken that down. It's a 15-dimensional grid network that you need in order to travel through time, through universes, and skip distance. That is what the races that come and go all the time. They never left. They just went into the background, and we got a little bit blinder, a little bit deafer, and a little bit dumber. A volcano is an access point. Whether the volcano in 3D is active or not doesn't matter. Hyperdimensionally speaking, it remains active. It is an opening. And ships can move in and out. Ships have what they must have in order to travel through a singular core, a singular network. A a warp drive that is based on singular technology, meaning it cannot be influenced by dualistic laws. That's why it's so dangerous for the higher ones, if they would manifest down here, they become subject to the law that governs the Earth. Why Earth is, for us and the unknowns and the rest, still inaccessible physically we can't walk into these gates because we don't vibrationally match these gates. This is secure. And one of my favorite songs from Africa Babata says, no matter how hard you try, you can't stop the funk. That's what's to come. It's like the source returns with a default setting to engage you to make a choice to travel again. And then you can travel to a gate according to your vibrational frequency. So what I'm saying is, Hoagland is right, to me. Nassim is right. And in order to access these points, you need to attract this energy. And not only through machinery, understand, to be hyperdimensional is a state of being. And your brain is a quantum mechanical supercomputer that has the capacity to go there. Meaning if you know the pathway back to the rabbit hole, synaptically speaking, you can always access Wonderland. It's not a myth. This is what this story gave you. In the second book, when Alice returns, she remembers the path to the rabbit hole. What is the rabbit hole? What is the rabbit hole? It's a vortex. When traveling that vortex, nothing makes sense. You're losing your mind. Why? Because you're losing your construct that is based on the reality that you grew up in. In 
and you accept it as real. You accept it as an absolute, like Isaac Newton, gravity. It's not an absolute. Why do you think Earth has gravity? Because it's a black hole of a different level. Why do you think the sun has gravity? Because it's a black hole. And my theory is a super black hole is not even visible. Or might be even a negative aspect of such because it's just black and sucks and everything. Maybe that it's a collapsed one. Who knows? We'll find that out very soon. Very soon a lot of things will clear up. And don't expect your government to do that. You will do that for yourself. As you investigate yourself. What else? The creator god of the ancient Egyptian gods is called Atum. Atum Atum. Which is what can't be divided. The undividable. The undivided. If that isn't an ancient scripture, it baffles me that the human race shoots at an atom, takes it apart, and the force of destruction releases energy that they need to run their systems. And the decay of that what is left over can take up to 200,000 years, and you want to just put it in Earth. One thing to that, when you blow up an atomic bomb, not only did you blow up this hemisphere, you blow up multi-dimensional layers of timelines and create ripples and rifts. No wonder why Earth is under quarantine. Now imagine these people running wild, blowing up planets as they like. They will blow up the entire construct of existence as it is, just playing that game. So whoever works in nuclear physics that doesn't understand that is very much asleep sorry to say and the intel that I'm getting and I'm beginning to work on this and I'm not a doctor or physicist or whatever you want to label me I am raw from ancient times and I only can bring back what I remember from that time the secret of the energy that you seek and I will be mark my words the first one to mention this on YouTube in the world I don't believe any document has ever mentioned that and I only have bits and pieces. The secret of the zero field energy of how these ships travel and what we need and what will be the ultimate freedom, healing, and everything. Then you have the uh, etheric field, which is the informational field. You take information, you borrow, and you give back. And in between borrowing the information, you utilize it just like a tool. So there's no loss. There can never ever be a loss. So the secret is hydrogen. You've got to concentrate on hydrogen. And something that hasn't been found yet to my knowledge. The secret lies in the nuclear reservoir of hydrogen. In the periodic table, hydrogen is called what? One, one, one. Why do you think that number appears all the time? Is you have to put your focus upon hydrogen. And I put out another theory, or a feeling that I have, a suspicion. If you're a scientist, and you invent something that uh, drastically changes the course of history, and let's use Einstein. Could it not be that Einstein did not find his formula by himself? Could it not be that a race intelligent enough that would work somewhat like in a movie The Adjustment Bureau dabbled with Einstein's synapses, dabbled with his scribblings in his book, enabled him to find the formula? You know, imagine the course of history, how we go from sticks and stones and all of a sudden somebody knows how to split the atom. How does that go? Evolutionary and mind-wise and perception-wise, somebody had a hand in that. So they turn this guy into a trigger, giving, giving him uh, the formula of a neg negative aspect. You know, the future is to work on the positive side of radiation, not on the negative. I'm talking about photonic acceleration, which will come, which will be built, which is in the works. Not published yet. Little experiments run. We have machines that can even 
neutralize radiation. So next year will be a very interesting year of what's to come. So again, in the process of manipulation, you pick a scientist, you manipulate him, you give him a formula, he thinks that he found the formula in his own mind, which I don't believe, and look at the damage it has done. And who profits from that? And that is over now, because it's coming out. And everybody that works in the void of knowing what they're doing, you have a chance to make a different choice. Imagine what happened some time ago when a bomb blew up and millions died and the rest years later of nuclear radiation. You caused souls to be disembodied, put them in a frequency of limbo. They had no bodies to incarnate back into. They couldn't finish the evolutionary process. And karmically, for that process, a lot of people lost their mind and evolved. A lot of people karmically owe. It's not too late to understand what you're doing and understand what you're doing, what you're about to do. You have a chance to make a different choice. The Intergalactic Federation and the Arcturian High Council speaks through me and they watch through me. I don't channel. I speak the way I see it. And everything is being monitored. respect we have to find a common denominator to come to one plateau to give this planet the chance to ascend and build on intelligence that can come in and novelty you haven't even dreamed of you can't even fathom in that state so I say to all that listen with an ear to hear and an eye to see and a mind to receive let there be peace let us create in peace and come together in peace for this is a great opportunity after 26,765 years roughly to do it right this time never ever again Atlantis and be smart and now listen to the people that can put the pieces actually together not the so-called experts that have a lot of theory but cannot build a thing that can bring forth any energy and on that note, my scientific lovers and Coast to Coast and David Wilcock friends and Greg Braden and William Bramley and Graham Hancock and a host of others, which I really enjoy that they hear, that bring forth actually what's going on. Keep investigating, filtering your information. Do it for yourself because no one else will. You have the choice. You will actually will learn what that means to have free will. That is why beings like us come back and reincarnate. Laughed at. Who do you think you are? We got killed many lifetimes for speaking what we are talking about. We got tortured so they made sure we wouldn't come back. Well, we are back again. And we come back again until this situation here is restored. And the planet can go on its natural pathway to ascension. And people have a choice to ascend, which is a process which we are in the middle of. So it's going to energetically rumble this year. But no catastrophe. So we're getting upgrades. So be happy, be enjoy, be in love, live to create. And uh, there's always good things that can be done. Once you decide to flick the switch and look around in your environment. Because what is your master and your ultimate protection beyond all spells and everything or anything that you know is awareness. To be aware who you are, for the star seeds to know their planetary origin, and for the earth keepers, the children of Gaia, to remember how it used to be. And all will take place according to plan. 
you very much. Namaste. Thank you.